Our challenge is to use jury nullification to get Adam, to get the law under which Adam is being tried, to get it declared um, unfit. No law at all. So for those of us joining late, uh, Adam Kokesh was arrested at his home 9th July of this year. Uh, he's now in the D.C. jail in Washington, D.C. And uh, just to sum it up for you, he's facing four different charges in two different jurisdictions. Three of the charges are felony charges. Um, two of them are related to firearms. One is related to uh, alleged possession of uh, legal substances. Um, and actually the third, the, th the one that's not a, a felony is also related to its marijuana possession charge. It's a misdemeanor, it's the least of them all. It's been denied bail, the big news, the latest update today is that it's been denied bail once again, this time even by a different judge who uh, didn't seem to be quite as prejudiced against him, but in any case, bail denied. Now, the interesting part is that a jury trial has been scheduled, uh, tentative, tentatively scheduled, I would say, because these things can change for October 24th. Now, uh, you know, Adam admits to the, the uh, th this is for the, the gun charge in DC, the one related to the July 4th video. Adam admits to that. Adam admits openly that he possessed a firearm uh, inside the, the city limits of Washington, DC. So um, his own testimony uh, is gonna be used against him uh, at that uh, trial on October 24th of this year charge carries a maximum of five years in prison. It's a felony, um, which means that uh, his uh, right to keep and bear arms will be restricted if he is convicted, uh, just apart from the fact that he would be serving time. So here's our challenge. If we decide to take it up, our challenge is to use jury nullification to get Adam, to get the law under which Adam is being tried, to get it declared um, unfit, no law at all. Now what is jury nullification? It's also called jury rights or jury independence. This is basically the idea that uh, the jury can judge not just the facts of a case, not whether or not a person uh, violated the law as the prosecutor alleges, but also the law itself. And they can decide if they so choose that that law is not a good law, not a valid law, no law at all. And even if the, the, the defendant admits to the crime, they can find him not guilty and he's absolved of, of all, all charges on that point. This was a bedrock uh, principle of common law and of U.S. law in the 19th century. However, these days, uh, even though it is technically still in effect, uh, the, the judges don't like it. All right? The state doesn't like it because it's a form of democracy inside the monarchic state injustice system where the judge is the little king who decides you know, everything that happens. So basically, our challenge is to get Adam off using jury nullification. Now, how are we gonna do that? This is not exactly a, a, a painless process, let me tell you. I have gone out with uh, people who were pamphleting at federal courthouses and uh, I was arrested and framed. So it, it's no simple thing. Now, how do people usually do it? We usually pamphlet the courthouse. People need to start immediately. It may already be too late because they may pick the jurors ahead of time. Um, but we also need to think bigger on this issue. We need to get, uh, we need to do the pamphleting in front of the courthouse there in downtown Washington, D.C., but we also need to do more than that. We need to get on TV, we need to get on radio, we need to make a big fuss about jury independence and jury nullification. So, uh, that is our task. That is uh, the challenge that I am inviting you to take up to get Adam out of this charge to be found not guilty uh, by decision of the jury. This is no easy challenge, but it is quite, quite a, a, a virtuous one, quite a just cause. Uh, so let's do it. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.